Hi, I know it's been a while. Um, been quite busy. Some things came up. Whatever, whatever. But um, yeah. So I had a few questions about um, you know uh, on a few things actually. Yeah. 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 This is a case of putting the springs in my hair after the fact. Um, sometimes it just, just works out that way. Now I had some questions to do a full tutorial on um, how to attach these. Now what I've found is, you know, maybe this works for you to just find a section of hair, hook it around, and twirl, but for me, as you can see, it's it's very easy to get it kind of entangled if I do that. So what I suggest is to twist your hair so that, you know, so you have a, a kind of a more condensed, compact um, area to wrap the springs around. And you want to have the point facing away from you. Slide at the at the at the big end slide in between wrap can you see that let's do that again make sure the ends pointed out slide it in wrap and twist twist just twist the end around all the way around so you're not you know weaving it inside your hair at this point I just take my hair and then just finish the process towards the end until it's all the way inside and then when you release your hair uh, the thickness and texture of your hair is what holds it in place once you do it once or twice then it'll kinda of click and you'll be like oh but it's just a matter of getting it that first time um, and then and then you're on your way it's it's easy peasy you can do it in your sleep now these are designed so that um, the spacing controls how much hair you can put in it um, so you can't really put too much hair in there or you'll never get it in and if you put too little hair you're gonna know because it's gonna fall right out so you can't be too skimpy with it but there's no need to because there's enough weight in these springs to do the job as you can see. Some of you may think well it's because I have this bound but it's not. See and I hadn't even got my hair wet yet and with wetting the hair the hair it's gonna get even heavier um, so I'm gonna get even more stretch especially in the back where my curl pattern is uh, much tighter this area and a little bit here has some 4A in it so um, you know it doesn't it doesn't take that much as you can see you know there's not much difference some difference but not much but as you can see towards the back um, <laughs> it's very dense um, and compact even though the length is the same um, you know as your hair grows out it will change at each stage 
whatever those stages are. I, I've seen my hair look totally different from when it was only four inches to when I finally got around you know nine inches and then when I got around a foot you know um, I think that's when I started to see that this was actually 4A and it started to you know flop a little bit but from here back mm -mm. <laughs> it wasn't trying to do nothing but but be there even you know when I was able to uh, pull my hair down to the small So yeah, even um, when I was able to, when my hair was about to the small of my back, um, it still shrank up to here. Even though now it's probably, well, probably about, let's see. Oh, I guess it's back. I haven't really tested it in a while. Oh, yeah. It's funny, I haven't really been that focused on the length in a while. Um, so, I, till I just did that, I, I didn't even know that my hair had grown back already. Also, look out for new products coming. Of course, you can still get the mini and the classic, which is this large size, um, in the black. I also now have, this is called the Modern Spring, which is a, a stainless steel version. And I'm going to sell these in packs of two. It's called the Bohemian. Um, we've got silver beads or I believe they're plated with um, kind of bronze, platinum, and brass color beads. And then we're going to have colors. Yay! This green will be more of a, of a lime green. We've got the lemon yellow, denim blue, fire red, and it's either pretty or blush pink, I can't remember. And as you can see, I can use the mini, I just have to use half as much hair. So, um, questions about whether or not you, you, you can use the classic or the mini um, it, because of the thickness of your hair, um, it's really kind of irrelevant. It's just a matter of how many springs do you want in your hair for whatever it is you're trying to do? If you if you want to get updates or when when these will be available, uh, the quickest way in case a video doesn't come out um, is through Facebook um, through our the Facebook page. Um, and again, it's just springs. So if you like us on Facebook, come friend, you'll get immediate updates. Okay. So let me address also, I know from the last video there were some that um, were surprised that I went out in public um, with the springs in my hair. And um, all I have to say to that is, do, do I expect everyone to like it or get it or, you know, think it's fashionable or pretty or whatever right off the bat? No. You know, I, I, I guess I'm, I do expect that some of you are going to be like, what? What the hell are you doing? But somebody's got to push the envelope um, to see what's possible. Because if you don't, you never know, you know, where you can go. You never know your, your possibilities or your, you know, your potential. And as it stands, styling natural hair is really very limiting. Um, and the whole point of wearing these as accessories I mean who's who's to say that it's 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 I don't want to use the word wrong but 
I mean, maybe it's you, maybe it's not you. No more than wearing multicolored weaves or wearing a weave at all or braiding your hair. You know, we all have different uh, personal style and some of us are willing to take more chances than others uh, with our hair. Um, and, and these are no different. Um, but I don't expect something brand new um, to be just 100% widely accepted right off the bat. That's the challenge. I'm here to challenge the potential of our hair. Um, I believe that you know the, the surface has just barely been scratched at this point. You know that's what this is all about is to finding about finding out who we are with our hair being comfortable with our hair being what it is without having to over manipulate and change it so much that it's not even our texture anymore. We, sh we shouldn't have to be afraid to embrace our texture and that's what Springs is all about. It's about finding a way to truly enhance what we have and to work with what we have to get the best out of what we have and I hope that frees some of you up uh, in your mind uh, to really kind of think about why you why you feel a certain way you know um, about certain styles when it comes to our natural texture um, you know but it's all learning process we're, we all get there at our own pace Like always, if you have a question, any more tutorials you want, um, please leave them below or um, you can al always send an email through the website. Um, what else? Oh, also, international shipping. I know I said that, what, two months ago? I apologize to my international friends. S-P-R-A-N-G-Z dot com. So that's it, and, um... See you when I see you. <laughs> Peace.